In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Dr. Dre's Color Correct tool, which you can find at the URL on your screen right now on OriginalTrilogy.com. The tool is designed to match the color of one image almost exactly to that of another. After you download the tool, you'll have something that has underscore package exe. Double click on that to install it, and that will install everything you need. Uh, and it will also create the second file, which is another exe, it doesn't have the package on it. You right click on that and choose run as administrator, and it'll take a second or two to start. And once it does, you'll see the user interface, which is actually very simple. It has uh, just three buttons available to you when you open it. Uh, import color correction model allows you to import models you previously created, but we're going to start with a new one. And to see just how good this tool really is, we're going to try uh, correcting a very faded uh, red print. So this is obviously the Greedo scene from Star Wars and this is from my very faded red print. Luckily though I have another copy of this print uh, which is not faded. So let's take a look at that. All right, this is the one we're going to try and match the colors to. The colors are a little dark perhaps, not perfect, but a heck of a lot better than that red. So let's see how we do this. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to look at this one which has some subtitles on it because we want to make sure they, they appear correctly. See if we can find a frame without too much damage on it to be our reference frame. Uh, looks like a good one. It's number 14. Okay. So we're going to import our test image. This is the image we want to change the colors of. Just navigate to that folder where the red files are. There they are. Now we're going to find number 14 because we need to match the frames as exactly as possible for the best effect. So there's number 14. And it opens up this figure. Now you can crop that if you want to, but I don't want to. Now we're going to put our reference image. So we're going to go back to our ones that are actually colored. We're going to find number 14. Open that. Again, you can crop that one to match the other one if you crop the other one. You could, for example, just crop uh, around the, the red light and the subtitles or Guido's head or whatever you want. We'll leave it full. Now you've got your two images. You know, test and your reference, you click on this build color correction model button. Now this will open up a box and you want to wait for that. You don't want to close anything at this point. You want to let that run. It will eventually open up an image showing you the color correction in progress and a little progress bar. And just leave it all open until it finishes and the other buttons light up. Okay, well it's finished. It took about 15 minutes. And this is what it came up with. This is, was, the red one. And so there's a bit of uh, noise, I guess you describe that as noise in the window there, uh, which would need to be cleaned up some other way. But unlike just adjusting the colors manually, uh, which I've tried before, uh, when I did it manually, I got a green outline all the way around all these letters. So this is a big improvement. So, now that we have our model, export the model, in case we want to use it again. Go to model. Uh, you can also export a, a LUT, a lookup table, if you want to use the, that in Resolve or something like that. And then to change all of the other images, you just click on this Import Images and Correct Colors button. Go in here, you select all of your pink images. And as soon as you hit Open, it will begin. If we look in Print A, see it's created this new folder called Corrected. If we look in there, 
wait just a moment, it should create the first image. It's actually fairly quick at creating the images, but there are 106 frames in this sequence. So while it creates one probably every 20 or 30 seconds, it is going to take a little while. Just show you the first one. There it is, no subtitles in this one. Still have the noise in the window, but apart from that, it looks well, it looks fantastic, let's be honest. It's a great match. If we compare that, let me turn away for a second. Compare that to print B. Yeah, well, the source is noisy there too, but uh, well, not noisy, dirty is right there. But anyway, as you can see, that is much, much better. And you can see it's not the same print. I didn't just take the same print and color it slightly. There's a little piece of dirt here, there's one here, there's a little piece of dirt here, there's one here. So they're definitely different. And just to prove that even further, if we go back into here and we look at this frame. which is which <laughs> which is a good sign okay this is the, the noisy one with the window uh, see the window is not noisy there but the color change created that however you can see this piece of dirt here is this piece of dirt here I'm not sure if you just did the contrast you can see these two as well there's also one right here above the window Another one right there. Not in that one. This one is different dirt around the window. So, all in all, very good job. We'll close these. As you can see, it's already created five. Um, I'll be back in a few minutes. All right. So as you can see, it's now finished. And here are all of our themed frames. So that is all done. Now, let's just do a quick before and after test, shall we? So, so let's import sort of like before. Incredible, right? There you go. That's how it works. Have fun.